If it fit, yes. No. No. Under extenuating circumstance. No. 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 Yes. No. 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 Maybe. Absolutely. No. 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 Yes. No. Yes. If I had the entire costume, I yes, I would. No. 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 I would. I'd wear blue plaid. Yes. Do I wear a kilt? Of course I wear a kilt. Where's the Scottish accent? What would you expect I wear? I hope not pants or something like that. So yes, of course I wear a kilt. You should do. Consider it next year. We're just getting in the same mind frame of the Covenanters, the Scottish Covenanters, in terms of, you know, what might they have worn to honor them and remember them. We're going to put on the kilt and, and have a jolly day of wearing kilts together. Plus, it's fun. <laughs> we all know it takes a real man to wear a kilt. All the other ones who aren't wearing kilts, well, they're the real sissies. <laughs> In the experience of learning to wear a kilt, there was a couple of things you had to keep in mind. One was the um, uh, sitting down was rather interesting, a little different than um, just sitting down in pants. We had to have some uh, ladies teach us how to sit down correctly in a, um, with a bunch of fabric around our, our knees like that. Uh, a little bit more breezy than you would um, tend to wear with most of your outfits. And um, we just, uh, thankfully all the gentlemen at the uh, ball remembered not to courtesy. Uh, to their partners. I think I remember seeing most of them take a good manly bow. So there's no kilt trip for us then. Uh, 